what a num num is. Yamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyamboyambo
Hello, Nancy. Do you live here at the car? No, I have a room in a building on the other side of the Grand Canal. A very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there, I suppose technically I do live here. Does Margarita know that you went to prison in England for art theft? What? I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Colin? My real name is Justin Beaumont. Two years ago, I removed a Renoir from the private collection of a man to whom it was nothing more than a financial investment. I took it home so it would be appreciated as the masterpiece it was. Its former owner took issue with my actions, I was arrested, and I was sent to prison for a year. As for Margarita, she's the only one who knows. She says if I don't continue to work for her for next to nothing, she'll tell all her friends I have a criminal record, which would essentially end my career here in Venice, just like it ended my career back in England. If that were to happen, I'd be utterly lost. In other words, she's blackmailing you? What's worse, not only does she keep trying to get me to use substandard materials so she can save money on the renovations I'm doing for her, but she wants me to cover it up by lying to the Restoration Council about it. And for someone in my precarious position, <sighs> let's just say resisting has been very, very difficult. Enough. I insist we change the subject. What are you going to be for Carnivale this year? Working, that's what I'm going to be. I haven't been invited to any festivities, which is just as well because I detest costumes. So to Carnivale, I say, bah humbug. I came across this tessera and thought you might like it. It's quite beautiful. All the more because it came from you. Thank you, Nancy. I shall treasure it. I need to get going. What's his name? What's whose name? The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. Hello again. Do you always wear that locket? Do you like it? It is just that, uh, well, when one lives in Venezia, one becomes so used to true beauty that anything less tends to stand out like uh, dirt on a white rug. I'm running kind of low on euros. You are not asking me for a handout, I hope. Or a loan. Do you know anyone who might loan me the money? No. Oh. But do not stop with me. There are many ways for people with energy and volio to make money in this city. Go to Rialto Market and see what people are buying. Use your eyes. Use your brain. You will think of a way. I hear you've been using the fact that Colin has a criminal record to try to get him to do things that may not be totally legal. Who tells you this? Colin, he says that? Because I do no such thing. It is him. He is the one who wants to break the law. Margarita, he says, pay me a thousand euros, and I will find a way to save you ten thousand euros on your renovation. No, I tell him, shamo stare. But he keeps bringing it up. How did you find out he had a record? He told me. When he asked me if I wanted him to lie to the council, he was trying to prove he had experience in such things and could get away with it. And now, he is telling you that cheating on the renovations was my idea? Oh, once a liar and a thief, always a liar and a thief. This is what I get for being nice. If and when people find out I hired such a man, I will be the laughingstock of Venezia. So please, Nancy, please, keep what you know to yourself. Will you be dressing up in a costume for Carnivale? Oltre okay. che, I have fallen in love with Commedia dell'arte, so this year I will dress up as my favorite character. The big-nosed, nasty Pulcinella. He and I are so opposite, no one will ever guess it is me. Who is Il Dottore? Dottore means doctor. Oh, what doctor are you talking about? There's a box of chocolates downstairs for Il Dottore. Someone must have left them here by mistake. Has anything else for Il Dottore ever been delivered here? I am up here all day. Something gets delivered, something does not get delivered. I do not know. I do not care. I saw this case and thought you might like it to keep your sunglasses in. You are giving me a gift? You do not have to do this, Nancy, but I, I like gifts. And this one, it is very nice. Grazie. I'll talk to you later. Good, good.
This looks interesting. Mia sorella ha avuto un figlio, io non sapevo di te. No, no, pesa 30 kg. 30 kg? Non sapevo fosse in giro. Samantha, quick! You are early, but please come in. Enrico is at the scopa table. Ah, sono Enrico Tasa. Benvenuta a Venezia. I'm sorry, but if it's all right with you, I'd prefer to speak English. Of course, whatever you wish. What a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you until after Carnevale. I know, but I just couldn't wait to get started. So, you're not only young and attractive, but enthusiastic as well. Tell me more about yourself, Samantha. Well, I'm from the States, as you can tell. And I'm going to school in Switzerland. And now I'm here. And I think that's all that matters, don't you? Because, frankly, telling my life story to someone wearing a mask is just a little too freaky for me. I understand. Besides, having never met you before, I would have no way of knowing if what you tell me is a lie or the truth. I always wear the same costume for Carnevale. Why? Because I'm a very superstitious man. I believe that always doing things a certain way brings good fortune. For instance, I never discuss business with anyone unless and until that person beats me at the game of Scopa. Are you familiar with the game? Never heard of it. It's a card game, very popular in Venice. We play it with the traditional Italian deck of 40 cards. There are four suits in a Scopa deck. Coins, cups, swords, and clubs. Each suit has ten cards. Seven, the most valuable card. Six, five, four, three, two, and ace. There are also three face cards. Valet, knight, king. When you are taking tricks during the game, each card is worth what it says, with a valet worth eight, a knight nine, and a king ten. However, for scoring at the end of the game, sevens are the most valuable, followed by sixes, aces, fives, fours, threes, twos, then all face cards. For scoring, these are called primes. To play the game, three cards are dealt to each player, then four cards are placed face-up in the play area. If three kings appear, the cards are re-dealt. 
The player who did not deal the cards goes first. When it is your turn, you must play one card and one card only from your hand. Now, you have a two and there is a two in the play area. So you will play your two and take a trick. I discard a valet worth eight. You cannot make a match, so you discard your three. I discard the two. Now, because you have a knight in your hand, which is worth nine, and there is a six and a three in the play area, six plus three equals nine, which means you have a match and you take a trick. I discard my ace, and because we are both out of cards, I deal us both three more cards. Ah, you have a seven in your hand. You also have an ace, which is worth one, a four, and a two in the play area, which add up to seven. But there is also a seven in the play area. So, which do you match with your seven? The three cards that add up to seven, or the seven? The rules say, when presented with such a choice, you must take the trick by collecting the single card. And so, you match your seven card with the seven card in the play area and take a trick. I make a match with the valet and take a trick. You have yet another seven in your hand. Now you match it with the ace, the four, and the two and take a trick. And since you have taken the last card in the play area, you say scopa and get a point. We continue to play by discarding and taking tricks until all 40 cards have been played. At that point, we count the points we have won by taking tricks and getting scopas. The first person to get 11 or more points wins. If no one has 11 or more points, the deck is shuffled, the other person deals, and we play another round. Are you ready to play? You bet. You cannot discard that card because you... Scopa! We've played all our cards. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. I get one point for having the most coin cards. I get one point for having the seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. And lastly, we score the scopas.
You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. You get one point for having the most coin cards. I get one point for having the seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. Those don't add up. You cannot discard that card because you can take a... Scopa! You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. You get one point for having the most coin cards. You get one point for having the seven of coins. No points for you. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. We both have the same number of valuable tricks, so no one gets a point. And lastly... We score the Scopas. Scopa! Scopa! Ah, what a great way to end the last round. Unfortunately, in this case, no point is given for a scopa. You get one point for having the seven of coins. I get one point for having the most tricks. I get one point for having the most coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. And lastly... We score the scopas.